These hardy perennials are the way to go when you need dependable, low-maintenance plants with considerable blooming punch. All of these plants can survive drought, bad soil, and freezing temperatures year after year without losing their ability to produce stunning blossoms. And these are the top eight hard-to-kill perennials that will bring color year after year. Number one, daylily. Daylilies, also known as hemerocallus, are hardy annuals that will thrive in any warm, sunny location. They can withstand dry conditions, are immune to insects, and come in a rainbow of colors and patterns. These low maintenance plants will grow in clumps and will need dividing every three to four years to keep producing healthy, fresh new growth and healthy, fresh new blooms. The hardiness zone range for daylilies is three to 10. Number two, barren wart. Barren wart is a true workhorse in the garden and one of the greatest perennials for shade. This tough ground cover boasts vibrant flowers and leaves. Its great resistance to water deficiency also makes it a good option for dry, shaded areas. Certain varieties, when grown in the right conditions, can even remain evergreen all winter long. Epimedium is a slow-growing ground cover that will eventually cover your entire garden in a riot of color. The barren wart can grow in zones four through eight. Number three, tick seed. Tick seed will continue to bloom all through the summer, no matter how hot or dry it gets. In terms of perennial plant dependability, this Native American species ranks towards the top. Pests and diseases rarely affect them. There is a wide range of sizes and shapes for foliage, depending on the species. Removing spent flowers as they appear will encourage further blooming. Tick seed grows best in zones three to eight. Number four, Russian sage. Russian sage will bring a splash of color to your late summer slash early fall garden. This hardy plant is originally from Central Asia, where it has evolved to thrive in the region's extreme heat and dryness. It blooms in the middle to late summer with stunning bluish purple flowers that hold their color for weeks. Although the standard height for Russian sage is five feet, shorter dwarf varieties can reach only three feet in height. The optimal climate for Russian sage is zone four through nine. Number five, Baptiza. Baptiza, often known as false indigo, has a very long lifespan once it becomes established. Baptiza is a big perennial shrub that bears blue, white, purple, or yellow blooms on slender stems, followed by huge seed pods. Even when the plants aren't in bloom, the blue-green, pea-like foliage is stunning. They are able to survive in climate zones three to eight. Number six, hosta. Hostas are a safe bet if you like variety in your plantings. These people prefer to spend their time in the shade and they come in a wide variety of sizes, colors, and forms from giants who can reach four feet in height to dwarves that only reach four inches. Hostas are low maintenance and can be dug up and divided to create new plants as needed. Zones three through nine are ideal for growing hostas. Number seven, Cranesbill. Cranesbill, also known as perennial geranium, gets its name from the shape of its seeds. From late spring to early fall, it blooms with delicate, arching stems bearing flowers in shades of white, pink, blue, and light purple. Even when the plants aren't in bloom, most types still put on a colorful display thanks to their mottled or veined leaves, especially when the weather turns cooler and the leaves turn a vibrant crimson in the fall. Zones five through nine are ideal for the crane's bill. Number eight, moss phlox. Moss phlox, also known as Phlox sebulata, 
has jewel-like flowers that bloom in the early spring, frequently at the same time as daffodils and tulips. This tough little ground cover would be great for use on slopes or in rock gardens. There's a wide range of hues available, from bicolor to mostly one. Also, the plants won't die from being nibbled on by deer. Those in zones three to nine can safely plant them. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.